Greetings folks and welcome to Bob of All Trades. In this video, I wish to discuss two things about Full HD panels inside of laptops, the refresh rate and the brightness. Now, when it comes to the refresh rate, the Full HD 100% standard RGB 144 Hertz has been a pretty popular and an almost common solution now for gaming laptops, with the biggest gripe being around that 300 nit limitation for brightness that for whatever reason manufacturers have just sort of set as the standard. And as a laptop user and as a laptop only user, I do take my machines with me outside in various places where there will be some direct sunlight. And trying to use a 300 nit panel outdoors is very, very difficult. When I do need to travel in that regard, I honestly prefer to take the OLED panel with me and I just run it at 1080p, but it does push near 400 nits, making it a lot easier to see outdoors. And I'm not caught off guard with wherever I may be. I can still use the laptop in almost every circumstance. However, the OLED does have a glossier display, which indeed definitely, well, makes it a little bit harder to see, especially in direct sunlight. So that's a bit of a bummer. And when we're talking about brightness, 400 nits and 500 nits, right? These are the numbers that I wanna see being addressed and worked hard towards inside of these laptops. Manufacturers, are you hearing me? Brightness is key. You already nailed down the refresh rate. 144 Hertz should honestly be a pretty safe limit the GPUs inside of these laptops, while awesome. They're tremendously awesome. This one has a 2080 Super at 150 watts. Stay tuned for the review on this. This thing is a gaming beast, but it has a 300 Hertz display. Now I'm not complaining. I love the high refresh rate stuff. I have been known as the high refresh rate stop. snob. My words, not yours. I know that I am. I love the high refresh rate gaming experience and as somebody who plays overwatch almost exclusively far as casual gaming goes 240 hertz on up with my preferred settings is a lot of fun and i really notice it when i move back to 144 hertz as the animations are not quite as smooth but my trained eye is just that i have been gaming with high refresh rate solutions ever since that was an option on desktops a long time ago i can see the difference but it's a very small difference from 300 hertz or 240 hertz down to 144 hertz where it's huge is going from 144 hertz to 60 hertz that is night and day so what if i told you the following the gpu performance even under the best case scenarios across most titles out there especially the relevant ones i'm not trying to offend anybody you like what you like you play what you play but generally speaking the fastest graphics cards in the world inside of laptops are still going to have a hard time saturating above 144 hertz at max settings and for those of you out there that are within the esports community that wish to put on your try hard pants i can be one of those individuals as well I mean, are you really embracing the laptop life with an IPS screen that has a lower response time versus some of the faster TN panels out there? Are you really, are you really telling me that that's, that's what you would prefer? If so, that's fine, but you're the niches of niche communities in that regard. And I can promise you this, a 500 nit, 144 Hertz display is going to be far more valuable and sought after by the general community than a 300 nit 300 hertz display that is just a fact and that is why i made this video today now i understand the current circumstances globally even beyond covid getting these panels is very difficult but try keep trying make it happen full hd 144 hertz 500 nits would be far more superior than 322 nits at 300 hertz. Why? Versatility, brightness, being able to take it outdoors, and the horsepower under the hood of these little beasts is going to have a hard time saturating triple digit FPS across most titles. All right, folks, that's going to do it. Hopefully that made sense. I'm Bob Valtrades, and I'll see you in the next video.